So I did a really quick reading um, as I was packing in. You have to excuse my mess. It's a giant mess out of my packing. Um, but I don't know. These were the three decks that I felt that to pull. Um, and the first two from Alana Fairchild's um, Divine Circus, I got the Crown of the Butterfly Bambini, um, which is like radical transformation, uh, natural intuition being restored, um, like blockages being removed, and that has happened greatly. Um, some growth and progress, moving past shunning yourself for mistakes made. And then the Gypsy Columbine, um, freedom from social conditioning, so socialization being shook off, shedding of the skin and emerging new, um, wild one within, Robert wise and authentic, beauty within, being embraced and inner knowing of what you need to do, moving past um, what you know, what you know won won't work and won't make you happy. Uh, true freedom to have what you want, what you really want and truthfully and to be truthfully yourself. And so then I went and did um, a sort of Celtic cross in here, starting with the Surrealist Tarot um, and Strength was the first one that came out. The Force, um, which in the, in the booklet they had a secret toy, which is interesting, but basically um, beauty of the inner monster and the dark side um, being understood and embraced and opening irrational doors. Um, and then basically what was the, you know, the blockage or the obstacle was the uh, Ten of Wands. Um, so basically like blank signature, which is interesting. And that could point to like, maybe like um, a forged signature or sort of an obstacle of why something wasn't like pursued and um, expectations and assumed commitments being in the way, um, a self-imposed dog dogmatism and demand demanding sacrifices. Um, so then in the past, we got the P King of Pentacles, um, self-love, acceptance, creativity, uh, likable boastfulness, sort of like a little bit of like false and false ego, like getting in the way um, and uh, an unauthentic ego, overcompensation, um, narcissism, and uh, false false confidence, false purpose, and then the seven of cups, basically like also in the past, um, collective invention, awareness of a so-called reality result, and uh, co common perception basically being the like you know, past and the past consistently, like the past sort of like life or whatever. Um, fleeting p pleasures, a selection of fleeting pleasures being served. Oh my goodness, I'm having such a hard time. I'm being screwed up. Um, so yeah, and then basically like, you know, in the now, the devil being reversed, the shadow being overcome, uh, the mask being removed, and then, actually this one was in the reverse when it came out. I don't know why it ended up that way, but basically in the future and going forward was the three of wands that was in the reverse. And it was it's basically um, being humbled, no longer needing to impress, authentic and pure intent and ego released. And then with that, um, I wanted to clarify it more, so I pulled out the wheel. Uh, the well of truth, external evidence, true change, you know, true prosperity, accepting what has been, overcoming past mistakes, what is, what will be, and what is meant to be. Um, and then also I pulled some good tools on that. So, um, and then I did even like, so along with the first pulls, and this was actually what was at the bottom of the deck, with the uh, Divine Circus was the messenger of error. Um, basically, it was like telepathic communication, like an astral relationship, uh, twin flame relationship, um, and subconscious programming. And so then back to what was in the past here, the nine of water. Nine of water was in the reverse in the past position. It was unfulfilled destiny, um, lack of completion, um, and which led to, you know, no contentment and no satiety to lost dreams and unfulfilled desires. 
uh, basically a whole mess of stuff. And then the six of water, also in the in the near past, based, and it was also reversed, basically being out of nostalgia, old flames and memories, um, but not actualized in the 3D, um, not moving past the good old days, just kind of like dwelling on them, hence nostalgia. And so then basically in the, you know, in the now was patience, uh, moderation, uh, realities being aligned now, um, needs being met, um, recompense, angels and ancestors being appeased with divine contracts being fulfilled. And then in the future, basically I had the two of air and which I also like further, um, um, geez, I can't even think of the word is, um, <laughs> so anyways, the two of airs was options considered, uh, options being considered at the brink of uncertainty at that like turning point, like stepping off the edge. And then when I further clarified, that's the word I was looking for page of air, uh, newness ideas, newness of ideas, news of focus, um, a theory actually being proven. So basically that's kind of where we're at. There's sort of hanging the balance and we'll see what happens, huh?